Hi, this is Troy from Discover Battery. Today we'll show you how to integrate Discover Lithium batteries with a Victron inverter charger using the Link2 communication gateway. So the Link2 gateway enables the internal BMS of a Discover Lithium battery to share important battery information over a network data connection in a closed-up configuration with off-grid inverters. This data helps optimize battery charging and trigger other functions controlled by the inverter charger that use battery data such as voltage, temperature, and state of charge. As with any installation job, pay attention to safety before you begin. Please wear proper personal protection equipment when handling the batteries, inverter, and electrical systems. Don't forget to switch off and depower all devices before installing the Link Gateway and connecting the Cat5 communication cables. Please also refer to the Link2 Communication Gateway User Manual, available from discoverbattery.com, and review the Discover Lithium battery models and inverters compatibility with the Link2 Gateway. Before starting installation, make sure you configure the can out pins of the Link2 to match the can low, can high, and can ground pins for the Victron inverter charger. To learn how to position the internal jumpers that configure the Link2 can out pins, please consult the link to Victron user manual. You can pull that from discoverbattery.com. Now we've already configured the jumpers inside the link to for the Victron. Now we can connect link two to the Discover Lithium batteries and the Victron BE CAN network. Once the CAN out pins are correctly configured, the Discover Lithium batteries can be connected to the link to gateway using a Cat5 cable. Now that the batteries are connected to the Link2 gateway, you can connect the Link into Victron's network to one of the VE CAN ports on the Victron's GX device. Ensure that both the battery network and the VE CAN networks are correctly terminated. The Link2 serves as a termination point for both the AE bus battery network and the Victron VE CAN network. Be aware that if communication between the Link2 gateway and the Victron inverter charger is lost, the system will continue to operate using static voltage parameters in an open loop arrangement as a precautionary measure. We actually recommend to program the Victron inverter with the correct voltage-based open loop parameters before setting up the system to function in a closed loop configuration. You can download the Link2 Victron user manual from discoverbattery.com. To learn how to set up Victron inverters with voltage-based open loop parameters using Victron VE Configure PC software. Using the VE Configure software, navigate to each general inverter and charger tab and set the parameters. For more guidance on these settings, you can refer to the section 6.1 of the Link2 Victron user manual. After setting the open loop parameters, save all the parameters to the inverter charger and the GX device by clicking on the send settings button, restart the GX device after completion. The Victron Connect Bluetooth app is used to configure the voltage based open loop parameters for Victron MPPT products equipped with Bluetooth. A list of Victron MPPT battery settings can be found in section six of the link to Victron user manual. Now that the hardware is installed and the open loop parameters have been set, the next step is configuring the link to gateway to use the Victron protocol for closed loop communications. To do this, download and install the link access software to a Windows based PC from the Discover Battery website, connect your PC to the link to gateway using the USB type B mini plug cable that comes with the link to gateway. And then you can select Victron communication protocol using the link to access software and save the setup. Now let's program the Victron inverter charger with closed loop parameters using the Victron CCGX device or remote console via the Victron VRM portal. First, enable communication with the Discover Lithium batteries by setting the communication speed. Using the CCGX or remote console, navigate from the device list to settings to services. VE CAN port. CAN bus profile. Select VE CAN and CAN bus BMS. Return to the device list and the Discover Lithium battery should now appear. During normal operation, the battery's charge parameter limits 
are set by the BMS and communicated by the Victron CCGX device to all the inverter chargers and MPPTs. To optimize the performance of a Victron system, manually set DVCC menu items using the Victron CCGX device or remote console via the Victron VRM portal. Ensure that DVCC is forced on and that limit charging current and SCS are both on. Limit managed battery charge voltage should be disabled. Set the maximum charge current of the installed number of Discover Lithium batteries multiplied by their rated maximum charge current or a lower value if curtailment is required. SVS and STS should be forced off. After all menu items have been set, reboot the system. So now that Link 2 is set up and connected correctly, it will transmit real-time values from the Discover Lithium batteries, including voltage, current, temperature, state of charge, and even fault conditions to Victron power conversion devices. For more information and support material, you can always visit discoverbattery.com.